Okay, super nerds. So, have you ever had this? This is annoying. You get yourself the Walmart special, super cheapy, and you're downloading all your favorite manuals from a uh, from a thing. You get the tuning software downloaded, and you extract it, and you do a thing, and you go over here, and you gotta open it. Well, gee golly, system security performance, blah, 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 Microsoft verified apps only. You get this with the cheap laptops from the Walmarts or whoever. So, yeah. Uh, still want to run this verified app, see how. So what happens is, it'll bring up your app store and it says switch out of S mode. You can click this, right? And it will get you out of the security S mode. Or... If you want to have the ability, because it says, once you do this, it's over with. If you don't want to commit to that kind of relationship of permanency, but you still want to be able to, say for instance, still use this in an educational, institutional, whatever, and you just want to kind of get around it a little bit, let's go through a couple of basic steps to turn off S mode. And we will verify because it says, hey, we can't do it. So if you're running into this, we can go to click on the search bar in Windows 10 here. Type about. Give it a little click. It'll say this is an old laptop you brought off an itchy got the Circle K gas station. And it's Windows 10 home in S mode. Hooray. Well, that's great. But let's go do something way more interesting and a little bit more fun. Let's turn the computer off. This is an HP computer. So we're going to hit power. And we're going to restart it, but we're going to hit escape key a couple 10,000 times. I like. All right, I had to change the angle on it because there's 10,000 reflections in here. I wanted you guys to see the screen as clear as possible without a bunch of junk. Up here it says, we're going to go to the BIOS. So we've hit escape on restart, did a thing. We're going to hit F10 down here. We're in the BIOS. We're going to change. Let's see. Um, yeah, go to boot, options. And we're going to look for a secure boot. We're going to turn that thing off. Cool, right? We're going to hit over once. Save. and Save changes and exit. Yes, I want to save changes and exit. Look, it's my ceiling fan. Alright, I'm cutting out. I'll come out some of the meat in the middle here. Because it takes time between things. That I don't want to sit there and have you guys wait. for From one important screen to the next. So we've hit save. And do a thing. But it says, this is like a redundant thing. Uh, change an operating system secure boot mode is pending, blah, blah, blah. This makes you do extra stuff. There's a little pin code. It gives you right there. You just type that in. So it's, this one is 5198 enter. All right, cool. So we're back. We disabled that. In some versions of Windows 10, you can go here and type in about. Give it the old click. And then we can scroll down and see. Oh. Windows 10 Home still in S mode. Great, we gotta take another extra step. Now this is a version 22H2. Um, I just updated this today. Like I said, this is a, a computer. This is, this is today today. Like afternoon on the sofa here. Figured I'd make an important point. I've, I got a couple people I saw on the web that was having trouble not being able to install the system on like a Surface or like a cheap Walmart computer or what have you not. Maybe not Walmart in your area. Who knows? I don't know how many Walmarts are in the U.S. But we're going to do something else to this, too. We're going to do one more change because I still want that tuning software to work on this laptop because not only... Oh, look. Alcohol. Not only is this going to be, you know, an extra laptop for around the office that I've gave a few dollars for, but, you know, I'll do things with it. And it will just be I mean, slideshows, training videos, and seminars. We are going to go here, and we're going to restart it, right? Power, push with my left pinky, shift, the left shift, and we're going to hit restart. And it's going to set here, and it's going to start. But we need the command prompt, and you can't go to the command prompt when you're in S mode in Windows, so... You gotta kind of start it in safe mode, or diagnostic mode, or whatever it is Android people call it. Hey, cool. So, let's go down here to troubleshoot. 
let's go down to advanced. Let's go down here to command prompt. Who missed the sound of disk drives going? I do. Okay, let's see here. Okay, if you have a username, you have to make sure to know the password. So, guess what the password is? I mean, I'm going to tell you what my password is. It doesn't matter if you know my password. There's nothing important here. So, right here, I'm going to get you guys zoomed in. You type in R E G E D I T dot E X E. Reg edit. That's registry edit. This is where the party really happens. Let's, let's change the angle here because it's a bright screen, so it's not going to reflect my phone and my happy face. All right, there's a couple things you have to do, which is modify the registry. So you have to load a hive. You're going to go to, for instance, local machine. You're going to go to load hive. You're, see, it's, you're looking for system 32, but this is not the one. You have to make sure to go to, see, that's on the boot. That's a whole different thing. We need to go to C drive and then Windows. And then we scroll down to System 32. I also noticed this mouse is a little bit hairy on this thing here. Interesting. I have to get a desk mouse for it or one of them Bluetooth ones. System 32. Come, come on. Stop being dumb. Uh, too much. Got to go back one. Okay, cool. Now we're going to be looking for, uh, I think it's config, and we are looking for, sorry about that, had a little phone call to make. Don't people know that I'm filming? Didn't I just send a bat signal out here on this thing? Anyways, we got into config, um, I believe it's system, I'll know as soon as I load it. We got to name this hive something. Uh, let's call it Aces. That way we don't lose it or forget it. Aces thing. I don't know. Let's call it Aces. So let's see here. We hit OK. And now that we loaded that hive, we're going to go to Aces. So, yeah, mouse is definitely, definitely touch and go on this thing. We're looking for Control Set 001. We're looking for Policies. Come on. Come on, Policies. Come on. Is this thing being slow? We're not looking for policies. I'm looking for policies on different things. This, this mouth is super sketch. We're looking for control and then CI, and then we're looking for policy. There we go. See this registry D word it's set to one. This thing right here, you need to change it to zero. So you just give it a click. You change the value to zero, which is, it's neat. It's a 16 base number. So zero means a whole different thing than you think it does. It actually, it's kind of a true false statement, but see, now we got value not set. And then we got zero, 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 whatever. That's, that's a whole thing. But to make this stick, to the, with the registry flat file or something like that. Anyways, doesn't matter. We go to ACES, we go back to file. You see my cat's playing over there. We go back to file and then we go to unload hive. Do you want to so on and so forth and mess with the registry and do stuff that most people don't do anymore? Yeah, anywho, we're gonna do that. We're gonna do that. And I'm gonna click turn off the PC. This usually takes a second for some dumb reason. We'll get right back to you. All right, we got her booted up here. Let's uh, let's check our windows. Type A B O U T. Bit it. All right, old school Dell, super slow, ready on graphics, good enough for tuning. Let's see what we got. Let's see what we got. Let's see what we got. Come on, come on, mouse. <gasps> windows 10 home, no S mode. So we made a registry change, and that's what the ticket is. Some of these, I think, uh, I can't remember what version of Windows is, 20, some, 21 or 22 or something version of Windows. Um, you just go into the BIOS and disable a thing and it will turn it all off. Or if you want to be corporate about it, you can go into the Microsoft store and say, yes, I agree to do this. And then they know about it. 
<laughs> who cares? But where this computer has a different functionality than most people's, where it's going to be used by a lot of people at a business in an institution type setting, then I want to do it a little bit different. So this is the different way. Anyway, nevertheless, let's go to our tuning software folder. Let's get our downloaded file and delete it. No, extract it. I'm just in the mood to delete stuff. I ain't kid. There we go. Doing stuff, doing stuff, doing stuff. All right, all right. Let's, ah, we got a different kind of blue window. We got a more info, run it anyways. And, blammo, we have tuning software, excellent. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go back to our BIOS and change some settings that we manipulated a little bit. You know what I mean? Click, 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 click. Hey, look, there's my eyebrows in my house. That's what I was looking for right there. So anyways, sorry about the glare. Just the right angle there. All right, so F10. We're back here. We're going to go turn secure boot back on. Yep, going to go to exit. Save and changes. Yep, and then we're going to verify that our S mode is off. So... I'm going to cut some of this stuff out. Alrighty, we're back. I didn't want to bore you guys with all the, the drama on that one there. So anyways, phone calls, long load screens, slow computers with a battery this bad. Let's go to about and see what it's all about. So we turn the secure boot thing back on. Oh look, we're still Windows 10 home, no S mode. So then... Let's go open our software again so I can pin it to the taskbar. Faces. Kemma. Kemma. Hey, there we go. Little right click. Pin to taskbar. Now I don't lose it. Then it's time to go tune some stuff. So, I really hope that helps. Uh, I saw the question before. Not a lot of people advice. I guess nobody's messed with the registry before. I did my research, and I figured I'd present you guys with a way around it without selling your soul to the man. So, there is two different ways to do it. Actually, three if you count, because that the secure boot thing will sometimes disable it, depending on what version of Windows you got. Sometimes you got to do the registry modification. But, now you know how to do it. And, if you want to be easy about it, just go through the Microsoft Store and say, disable AS mode. But, Hope it helps. Enjoy. Almost totally forgot to mention, um, all the steps I did are reversible. You, un unlike clicking it in the store, you can also go back into the registry, do the same thing, select a value to one, you know, unpack the stack, uh, and go back to being in S mode. So if you're doing some tricky business and you want it to be back in S mode, you can just turn it back on. Unlike when you go through the store, once you click it, it's a one and done deal. So, food for thought? It, this might not be great information to put out there. I don't know. We'll see what happens. Hope that helps.